Skull, and welcome, my shield wall, back to the next episode of our Karak Kadrin campaign for the Immortal Empires of Total War Warhammer 3. We are picking up where we left off last time. If you have missed any of the episodes so far, definitely check out the playlist on the channel so you can keep up to date with everything that has happened and see our battles. We are about to have the battle for Ungrim's Hold. We are being attacked by the Bone Rattlers of Bogrub Squigbeard and the settlement garrison that we are attacking. It's saying a Pyrrhic victory, victory if we auto-resolve, so we are going to be fighting this. It's a pretty standard orc army as you can see here. The, the deadliest thing they have are the Skulkers and the Arrow Boys. They do have one half unit of Wolf Riders, but I feel like we'll be okay. So we do have to be aware of Bogrub, but Ungrim should be able to take care of Bogrub just fine. So we are going to be fighting this so that we can take Ungrim's hold back and continue our adventure against both the Red Eye and the Bone Rattlers. So with that being said, enough Gavin, let's go to battle Madawi. Alright my shield wall, we are loaded in so now we need to get into position. We're going to try and use this, yeah we're going to use this rock cliff thing here to our advantage as much as possible. There we go. That way we cannot get flanked. Or at least, you know, we're less likely to get flanked. have wronged us there we go you guys group Ungrim, Garim all right let them come or we're gonna put the hurt on them lads <laughs> These Urgs aren't worthy. Slayers! Shoot! Let's see if we can bait them out with a Slayer Pirate. The Dow, we are ready for war. And the pirates advance. Come on, just bait them out, give them a volley, and then fall back. We go volley now fall back good job slayer pirates here they come here they come lads you best be ready to fight you will fight in the shade of the mountain Sisters. 
Pull back. Pull back. Explode them. Yes. There we go. Broke their lord. Grim, you get over there. You come over here. Shoot them. Yeah, left flank needs help. Go deal with them. Yes. Left flank. Yeah, shoot them. Boongrim. Blow them up. Fall back. There we go. Almost got this. Kill that. Get in there, Coilers. And then, Thunderers, you shoot them. Come on, Ungrim, kill him. There we go. Killed their lord. No. Yeah, I think we did. There we go. Unleash hell on them. Ooh, I think we're starting to turn the tide. Oh. 
There we go. Yes, the Thunders are giving them hell. They keep coming back. There. Oh, I thought we could do a little better than the Pyrrhic victory, but I was wrong. Fast forward through that, get as many kills as possible. Our troll hammer torpedo survived. Yes, huzzah for that. Right, I think that's all we're gonna get. A Pyrrhic victory, but I'll take it. They did far more damage than I was expecting. Nothing in particularly did a lot of kills. It was just they got a good amount of kills spread out through the entire board, as you can see here. So we deployed 895, we lost 619. Bogrub sent in 1773, he lost 1326. The garrison had 255 and they lost 203. We got some good kills there, 164 for a warrior, 119, 114, 113 for a slayer, 130 for a quarreler. So we had some good kills and a good amount of kills spread through the board too. It was just the numbers advantage I think is really what got us there. But we were able to pull out that victory, and now we'll have to see what the uh, campaign map looks like. We'll take the Ungrim's hold back, hopefully. Big victory. Occupy. Yep. Good. We secured our province again. We have all of Peak Pass. We got a good amount of... Oh, I forgot Ostermark was recorded. We got a good amount of grudges for that. Yarl Peak is still upgrading. It's got two turns on that. You can see the Red Eye Army. It's all Gabo, so that should be okay. Let's upgrade Ungrim's Hold. We're going to hold here. Uh, we're going to get a lot more Slayers. Two Slayers and a Slayer Pirate. Get those back. How many turns? Four turns until everyone's fully replenished? Five turns? Four turns? Yeah. We can replenish for four turns. Or try to anyway. We'll have to see what this army does. Uh, Ungrim has two skill points. We're going to put one into Tapestry of Oaths. Weapon Strength plus 10% for Slayers, Giant Slayers, Slayer Pirates, Goblin Hewer, and Doom Seeker units. And Missile Strength plus 10%. And then we're also going to put a point into... Great Green Nemesis, Weapon Strength plus 15% when fighting against Greenskins. Yes. Karim Deanson has a point as well. We're going to put that point into Wrath and Ruin, make our explosion even stronger, so it'll help us break those Greenskin lines. We're going to put Venerate the Ancestors, Control plus 4, Corruption minus 3. That'll help since we just had to retake that. The slayer in me good. death. Good. Gruff, Gorm, Trom. Okay. So we're going to get 
Trom, maybe even into Gorm. Just need 5% to get into Gorm, which will give us control plus 3, growth plus 25, upkeep minus 25%, and also give us access to the new Grudge Settler units. So that'll be good. We have three turns left until the next Age of Reckoning. So if we can fight these, we can get those grudges taken care of. But that was a good battle, and I am glad to have retaken Ungrim's hold. Technology-wise, we should probably do... Mm, Gazed subsidies. Let's make it cheaper to build. Lowers the price by 10%. I think that's everything. We did kill Bogrub, which I think that weakens the Bone Rattlers at least a little bit. It is time! Hello, Karazakarek. Hello, Zufbar. Does anyone want trade yet? No? Aggression? Eesh, okay. At least the Crooked Moon haven't declared war on us yet. We'll have to see how that holds out. Speaking of Crooked Moon, that reminded me, I think the Chaos Robbie's Old World mod is almost updated, so I'm looking forward to doing more campaigns with the Old World mod. Of course, after I finish these two, maybe I'll even stream that. So I have taken up streaming again. Uh, I've streamed a couple times this week. Civilization 6. <clears throat> and a couple other games. So if you're interested in catching me live, definitely check that out. And if you want to know when I'm going live, I always discuss it in the Discord server. So make sure you join that to keep up with the updates and be part of the conversation. So there are 209 other settlements still remaining as the end turn ticks by. Red Eye are spawning another army, so they are really trying to ramp up armies here. A quest has been issued. Mighty That's Lord. great and all, but A we can't do it right now. Be wary, though. The Slayer the Crown. The potential oh, I would love to go after the Slayer Crown. So two are the perils. But uh, you know, we gotta. Deal with the enemy on our doorstep first. Good, good. Hey, Grim. Are you going to come help me fight Red Eye? Because that's actually pretty awesome of you. Come on, Grim Burlickson. I know you can put the hurt on them. Come help me. You are... God. Wow, you have all your stuff already. Cool. Only Zufbar liked us a little more. One turn left until Jarl Peak is done upgrading. If one army comes after Jarl Peak, it can hold out. But if two armies come down, we're going to have to send Ungrim. I am the Slayer King. Oh, I am the Slayer King. All right, on the turn 15 we go. Sometimes Ungrim's voice lines kind of sound like Robert Baratheon from Game of Thrones. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. 206 other factions. We're trying to get back up to where we need to be strength-wise so we can deal with this. I really want to take out these last three armies and take Fallen King Mountain and wipe out the Red Eye. I want to get that done. I'm tired of the Red Eye. They've plagued us for far too long now. It's only been 14 turns, but we've been fighting them the entire time. And the Bone Rattlers. Good chance they're going to come try and fight us again. Recruit an additional Lord. I mean, if I had the money. For the, you a... Oh, you kind of want non-aggression now. Such a manner. You don't want military access, but you will take non-aggression. I'll pay that. I'll pay the 2400. That's fine. I want the non-aggression with Zufbar. I want yes, their help. For war. Ah, the dying battle. battle. Three more turns, two more turns. So two more turns until we can move out. Yeesh. Our Thunderer died, didn't it? Dang it. I didn't realize that. Okay.
We'll upgrade the goat herd, probably. Let's see, what's our garrison like? Decent. We've got walls. I'm thinking a Tinker's Den. Get those gyro bombers and everything. The goblin healer and the... Uh, I don't know which one to put. So we should probably also do a gate. All right, we'll do the gate, upgrade that. Brutal Rune Lord, Weapon Master, Ulther Skolson. That puts us at 202 gold per turn, which is like nothing, basically. So, I grow restless. yeah. Onward. The slayer in me seeks death. Need two more turns to finish healing up. The red eye are probably gonna attack. At least I hope so. It'd actually be easier for us if they came out and attacked rather than if they just sit there and build up Fallen King Mountain. But maybe they'll put off the attack long enough that Yarl Peak will get the uh, garrison and gate done. <laughs> That'd be awesome. One of them moved off. Age of Reckoning, we got Trom. That gives us Control plus 1, Growth plus 10, and some Grudge Settler units. Maggot Pig Kissa is coming. Alright, we'll enter a new age. Disciplinarian for Ungrim, which is good. Control plus 1 for his local province. So Maggot Pig Kissa is coming with a bunch of goblins. But it's just goblins. So if he attacks Jarl Peak, I think we'll be okay to hold out with the garrison plus the Rune Lord. I need one more turn, yeah. One more turn, and then we can march out with Ungrim. Bye. Turn 17. Also, we'll have our technology done then. So we'll go ahead and end this turn. He's slow. Have I not met you yet? No, I guess not. I can see you, but I haven't actually met you yet. Okay. Yeah. Maria. Armored in faith. What? You don't want non-aggression? Oh, the Crooked Moon are kicking their butts. The I didn't think it was the Crooked Moon that were over here. That's so weird. Not used to that. But the Crooked Moon are going after Thorgrim. I'm a little worried Thorgrim might not survive here. It's very early in the campaign. We're only on turn 16, so that's, that is a huge shame. So we're going to go on ahead to turn 17. We'll be able to move out Ungrim. We are one of the last 200 now, down to just, just 200. A hundred and ninety-five left now. Let's see. All right, we can move out. Under Mosul's glare, we could do nothing and risk it, or pay the treasury and get the war fervor. Whatever, War Fervor it is. Jarl's Peak is besieged. Casting the runes. Hey, Grim. Who'd you get your butt kicked by? Because you're down to a 12. Did you fart, yeah. fight Scar Snick or something? I must fulfill my Slayer Oath. You dark kid. Let me think about it. No! Beards in Move him down. What do you 
Valiant to feed on the field, so we'll make them come to the walls where the wolf raiders won't be any use. It's just goblins, so I feel like we can hold out against just goblins. But we'll have to see. That will be a dire fight. So we'll go with military. We'll go with masterwork crossbows, reload, reload time reduction plus 10% for quarrelers and ranger units. That'll be good. I think we only had two turns left until the gate was done, so that's a shame. We almost had that done, but it's okay. All right, so we're moving Ungram down. See if we can get Skafog's neck snapper to attack us there. See what they do now that Ungram's moved right in front of them down south. Also, if the goblins push that attack, we will have that good defense. We teeter on an edge, my shield wall. Ah, oh, they attacked. They did attack indeed. So we're going to have to defend Yarl Peak. All right. To arms, Dowie. I will see you on the battlefield. All right. We are being attacked from three directions. They never make this easy for us, do they? They actually have a siege tower. Oh. Okay. Tower. For the High King. For the Karas Ankor. Dwarf warriors. We demand blood. All right. Got that. This is gonna be a tough fight. Okay. I was hoping it would be a little easier for us. But, you know. Here we go, I guess. Shoot the goblin archers. Back over here. Fall back. Plow 
Get those gobbos. They have wronged us. Rage fast, rage fast. Fall back. Let the vengeance begin. Have on them. Slay them. Castle. Right on the walls. Kill them all. Kill every last green skin. Dwarf warriors. Quarrelers. For our ancestors. For the ancestors. Dwarf warriors. Hip up the wall. go balance of power is about even Dwarf warriors. right them Okay, now back to this side. Okay, we're actually winning that wall. Let the vengeance begin. Let's kill us. It's no way. Happening. We're doing it. We're actually doing it. them oh we defeated their lord good job ulther brilliant them we need to come back over here Broke their lord, severely wounded their lord. Yeah. 
Good, yeah. Tear that gobble apart. Oh, get in there, coilers. Fire on the foe! I am the ranking lord! Quarrelist! Minus! Kill them! Right on! Here we go. Oh, where'd you come from, Gabo? Get them again. Them. There we go. Broke their lord again. Miners. Miners are taking care of those archers. The oh, they opened the gate. Shoot the wolf riders. And, oh, wounded the enemy lord. There we go. There we go. Good. Good. Good, get over there. Don't you just love having to fly back and forth, back and forth? Shoot the goblins. The clans unite. The clans unite. Quarrelers, move to attack. Ready to sail. By Grimnir, I order thee! See if we can get that upgrade done. Good, good, War of good. Quarrelers, pick your targets well. There we go, the explosive tower. There we go. Their losses were too much for them. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness. I did not think. I was starting to lose hope that we were going to win that. Yes. Ooh, a beautiful victory in my shield wall. A beautiful victory indeed. One more shot, come on. Oh, a Pyrrhic victory, but we destroyed one of their armies. Look at that. That army is not going to be bothering us again. They got one unit that didn't take any damage. We deployed 780 with that garrison, we lost 268. They deployed 2011. They lost 1,423. Oh, I love a good siege battle. Sorry about having to fly back and forth with that. I know it was a little disorienting at times, but that was a good battle and a good victory for Karen Kajrin. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, man. All right. So now we're going to load back into the campaign map, see what is left, and then we'll start wrapping up for today. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed.
There we go. Look at those kills. 148, 147, 116, 179, 118. You gotta love it. Uh, execute and loot, yes. Look at that. Killed their lord. Wiped out like half their army. Over half their army, actually. Siege lifted. They didn't come attack us. Interesting. Get out me, Ed. My anger you have a skill point. Right. I'm gonna put that into our in presence. Good job defending that. Ingram's hold. Mm -hmm. Keep the trinket maker, cause we need the money. Raid the cinnabar mine. The slayer in me seeks death. The slayer in me seeks death. Attack Let's see what this looks like. Pyrrhic victory. I think we can do it. This is where we will stop for today. And we will take the fight to the Red Eye next time. So join me next week, my shield wall, as we continue our adventure as Kerk Kadrin and Ungrim the Slayer King. I hope you enjoyed today's battles and today's episode i hope you're all enjoying this campaign if you are please make sure you hit that like subscribe and bell button for me if you ever have a comment suggestion name idea anything at all leave that in the comment section down below for me i do read all of your comments and i love when you leave them for me if you ever want to support me further check out the links in the description of the video come join the discord server check out my humble bundle and become a channel member speaking of channel members i'd like to say a huge shout out to my huskarl tier that's a big thank you to camelot Cole and Twisted Fate. Skull and thank you. It really means a lot to me that you guys would support me that way. But that is enough for me for today. And as always, I am Yarl Bear. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Kazakit, Kazakit, ha!